so my name is uh, uh, Dr. Shane Krause. I'm an assistant professor of psychology at UNLV or University of uh, Nevada, Las Vegas. I specialize and, and do research in the field of gambling disorder, uh, substance use, and sexual behavior. And I specialize and do quite a bit of work with military and use around addictions, particularly for gambling disorder. So we're going to be talking about uh, what we call mindfulness-based relapse prevention. So this is so when we work with uh, in this case, we're going to talk about veterans who report are reporting or receive, who sought help for treatment for gambling disorder in the VA, and we're going to be talking about some research that we recently ha have been conducting, um, looking at kind of developing what are effective ways to kind of work with veterans who have gambling disorder and generally they have other mental health issues too. We really talked about what we do in this protocol. And it's a nine session protocol. And we're gonna kind of hopefully let you know how you might be able to use it and how it could be an effective approach, we think for gambling disorder. In this case, veterans with gambling disorder as well. So I think mindfulness is helpful in helping veterans kind of have a better understanding of their own experiences, their own connection to their body, uh, their own mind, their own experiences. So I think part of what we find helpful is that mindfulness can really help people slow down and connect and understand some of their inner experiences and what's, and in this case, how are those inner experiences might be uh, related to their engagement in problematic gambling. Um, so I, it really, I think, is a broader approach uh, in helping them that crosses various mental health issues like depression and trauma. We know from our work is that gambling often starts very early in the military. Often it's one of the first things people can legally do. Uh, we know there's uh, many, many casinos on overseas bases that bring in a revenue of about $100 million a year. Um, so I would say gambling is part of the culture in the military, and I would say that well, a couple of things we know first is that uh, gambling is part of the military culture. There's active uh, gambling establishment on bases and active overseas, uh, you know, for slot machines uh, and for casinos. Um, so we know that gambling starts early in the military, often very young, and for some individuals who are in the military can, you know, develop over years. But what we know is that people who, who are struggling with things like trauma, mental health addictions, often report issues with gambling disorder as well.